Here's a very interesting music box here from the California collection, assembled in the 70s, and it was dispersed in the 2000 era, and my customer who got it acquired it at that point. It's got a very beautiful inlaid lid here with the swans and the decorative colored leaf and foliage there beneath it. It's kind of unusual, and uh, I must say it's very pleasing. Looks like a lot of artistic work went into that. And the case is also quite nice with cross banded inlay and an interesting floral decoration on the side again with matching different colors of green and rose inlays. It's a very decorative, beautiful, pleasing box to look at. And not only is it pleasing to look at, it's a beautiful sounding box. It has, looks to be some sort of a piccolo set up here with the um, regular simple comb on the right left here. And on the right here we got another accent comb with a different design. I'm not sure what to call it. I guess we could call it a sublime harmony piccolo of some sort. But um, got an interesting decorative zither. It's unsigned, but um, it is of high quality, and it's got a very interesting sound, and we'll play it for you. It's been restored in 1964 by a George Bidden from Barrington, Rhode Island. There's a uh, mark still on the bottom. And there's a number here, right there, some numbers. And I don't see a serial number per se. Isn't that interesting? I never noticed that. Hmm. Not really marked with a maker's number. Anyway, we'll give it a play for you, and it's a very nice box. I hope you enjoy it.
Anyway, that's a beautiful sunning box. I see it's got over 130 teeth, somewhere in that vicinity. And I just realized this is a, a mandolin box. So I'm not sure to describe it, but um, it's definitely some sort of a mandolin mechanism in this as well. So beautiful box. And I'm glad you enjoyed it.